Hello people, it's Richie here on the 8th of December 2021. Well it's predictable wasn't it? What, what everybody's been talking about for about the last two or three months. The government have implemented plan B for their Covid restrictions. Everyone kept saying oh Oh yeah, it's going to come in, it's definitely going to come in. And the other half of people told oh, no, they never do that again. But of course, we all knew we all knew something would happen, didn't we, before Christmas? Just, just it's gone just like last year, isn't it? Like, bought, bought in face masks, now you've got to wear them in theatres, cinemas, indoor places. More, more restrictions on uh, tra travel on that, flying in and out with uh, tests, having to take PCR tests and lateral flow and all that sort of crap. And... And also for England, we've now got vaccine passports for places like uh, football grounds, open venues over, I think it's venues over 500, and uh, seated venues for over 500, I think, and uh, venues for 10,000 people, I think, applies to anything, but in mandatory vaccine passports, which is something we never thought we'd see in the UK. Especially in England, I know they've had them in Scotland and Wales and Ireland and that for a few weeks, but didn't think we'd see anything like this coming in the UK, did we? This is just a thin end of the wedge, isn't it? We've already got, got them in Austria and Germany and various other places, Greggy bringing them in. But, I mean, how far do you think we're going to go with this? I mean, they keep talking about this new, this new, uh, on on Omicron variant of the uh, Lurgy. But as far as doctors and that in South Africa where it originated, most of them seem to think it's pretty mild, not not much not much more worse than like just catching the common cold. I mean, if it cut, they're gonna keep shutting the country down every time like a few people catch a cold. I mean we're never 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 gonna get out of this. It's cause there's gonna be an annual cycle. I mean second year in a row now. If if it just people just carry on like accepting it, it's going to happen again. It'll happen again next Christmas, won't it? You can see that coming. It's, it's just going to be an annual cycle that go on every every year. So unless, unless people sort of like stand up against it and uh, refuse to comply with all these rules and that, it's just going to keep going, keep going on and on and on. I mean, I, I personally, I think it's all all about all about the money now, and it big big farmer making big bucks out of it. I mean, the NHS have announced. A couple of days ago, that they're now going to each for each uh, each jibby jabby that's given doctors and get I think it's about twenty twenty pound twenty pound per jab now. Doctors and pharmacies are going to get for each jab that's been prescribed. And I think if they do them at weekends, I think they're going to be paid up to thirty pounds. So basically, they're just being they're just being blackmailed to jab people, really, aren't they? To be honest. And then you got all you got all the scared people wandering around. With the face nappies on, aren't you? All mouth up, all like this. I've, I mean, I've, I've even seen loads of people up out in the street outside. They're starting to walk around from face nappies on outside again now, which is completely unnecessary, isn't it? Especially when you've got like a gale of, gale of wind blowing, like we've had the last few days. You've got a gale of wind blowing, there's people walking about out, outside on their own, or in their cars on their own, wearing face nappies. <laughs> It's just laugh. If it wasn't so serious, it'd be bloody laughable, wouldn't it? To be honest. I mean, then you got like, Boris coming on at six o'clock on, on their on their press conference. You got the, the, the dreaded three stooges coming up, like doing all doing their usual stuff. And then, I mean, then, now they're saying, "Oh, every, everybody's got to get their third jab." And they're doing, I think they're even talking about some people having to have like fourth jabs and things like that. I mean, how, how many people? I mean, how many people are going to like? carry on going down I mean you, six months time you'll be looking at they'll be saying oh you've got to have your fifth jab or your sixth jab and time you get to next Christmas it'll be, be oh you might have to have an, you might have to have your eighth booster or your ninth booster I mean it's bloody ridiculous isn't it I'll, I'm not doing I'm not going along with any of it at all to be honest but I think people more people need to stand up against this if it, say if it, if it carries on it would just be well then We'll end up like the rest of Europe, and if it carries on, keeps on going on, that's so we'll end up be like China with its social credit system. Everyone will have to have their vaccine passports. Everyone will have to carry their phone with them. If you don't have your phone with you, you better get into won't better get into a shop or a restaurant or a football match or cinema or anywhere else. 
And the thing is, the more people keep complying with it, the more the government just carry on, carry on bringing it in because they think, oh, all the sheep, oh, they're all they're, they're quite happy to go on like that. Oh, we can do this next week, and we do that next. We can restrict them. That we stop them doing this next week. We stop them going here next week. So the, the more more people resist against it, the more hope we got of these things not coming in. Anyway, this has been real Richie. See you on the next one, people.